Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Elizabeth, it's good to have you. Today, I am bringing you a new product. It is not Caesar Easy Color. It is called the Duraflex Inkjet Printable Vinyl. So this is similar to the new Easy, uh, the Caesar Easy Color DTV. This is also a direct to vinyl heat transfer vinyl. Okay, so I'm really excited to use this. Um, you may know that Caesar Easy Color was launched um, at the timing of this video. It was um, launched a week before I um, recorded this video and I tried to get my hands on it. I couldn't, I'm based in the UK. All the shops that sell them are in the US and um, I did go on the US um, Amazon and it was very expensive and it would have been very expensive to ship it here so without me knowing two weeks ago I went on a site that I usually go on to purchase my HTV to look for a substitute for the easy subly and um, just kind of saw this because I didn't know about DTV at that at that time so I just thought oh, I'll just pop this in my basket so fast forward two weeks and Caesar launches their easy color DTV and I looked at the specifications for this and I thought hang on a second this is the same kind of product this can be printed on your normal inkjet printer that you have at home you don't need to use sublimation you can just pop it into your inkjet printer and get some color on here and then apply it to with a heat press apply it to whatever product you are using so i've rambled on quite a bit you can tell that i'm excited so if you'd like to see this i'm going to stop talking now if you'd like to see how i do this we're going to do it together guys. I have not tested this product so I'm really excited. If you'd like to see how we do this, stay tuned. Calibrate your Cricut machine here. So you're going to click this button and just follow the instructions. But I've already done that so let's get into it so I'm just going to bring my image in so I'm going to go into upload and I already have my image right here so I'm just going to click that and add it to the canvas so here we can see it's given a warning because we are doing print then cut it's too big for our Cricut maker to cut so if we click on here we can see it's saying these are our limits our boundary as far as print then cut so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in these uh, figures in there and see what we are working with so 6.51 and 9.9 And we are good to go so the next thing I'm going to do is click make it so we're not mirroring this image it's going to be printed directly onto the uh, vinyl we're going to send it to the printer I'm using my HP MV 6400 which is just a regular uh, inkjet printer. I'm going to leave the bleed on and I'm going to go into system dialog just to set the quality that I would like. So from here, I'm gonna go into paper type. So I'm going to go into speciality paper matte and I want the best quality and I'm going to send it to print. So here is the printer that I'm going to be using today. It is 
the HP MV6400. So I am going to remove the paper that's already in there because I don't want any issues. So this is just a normal printer. Okay, the Duraflex um, DTV, we can see, I'm gonna bring it as close as possible, probably not picking it up on camera, but we have a kind of papery side and we also have a kind of glossy side. Okay, this is the um, carrier sheet, so the, the backing sheet. So I'm going to put my matte papery side down because that's the side that we need to print on. So that's going to go into my printer ready for print. Okay, so we have it here. Here is the image. It looked like it's print out really nicely. I love the saturation of color. It looks very vivid. So I am pleased with that. I'm going to now leave this for about five minutes to kind of dry a little bit because that's a lot of ink on there. I did use best quality. So I'm just gonna leave it for five minutes and then we are going to put it onto the Cricut and cut this out. So I've allowed the image to kind of dry a little bit on there. Okay, so it's now on the mat. So I'm now ready to Reading the registration marks. It has just finished cutting, so I'm just going to check that it did cut all the way through without uh, ejecting the mat. So I'm just going to lift it up a little here just to check to see if it's cut through. Yep, and it has. So I'm happy with that. So I am going to eject. And there we have it. This gave me so many problems. The print then cut gave me so many problems. The first one I printed did not want to cut. My Cricut refused to cut it. So I had to uh, print this again, and it's something to do with the uh, print and cut area on the Cricut design space. I had to do some adjustments there. I will do another video discussing that, but let's just get on with this because this is the product we're testing out today. We're not talking about Cricut Design Space today. You've wasted enough of my time, so I'm moving on. So I am now going to read this. So I'm going to remove it off the mat. So what I do is I flip it over and then I just bend my mat away. at an angle pull majority of this excess vinyl off okay so here it is all weeded and I must say I am really loving the colors it is nice and vibrant before I press it, I am going to be using uh, this masking uh, 
this mask to actually lift the image off so I can press it. So I've got this, this is also available from um, the website, I will link that down in the description box. And I'm just removing the backing and hopefully you can see that I'm just going to bend it so the sticky side is on the outside and I'm going to just drop that on top of my image without wrinkling and allow the sides to just fall. So like that. Now I'm going to get my scraper and try and get it to stick to my masking uh, tape or masking sheet I should say and I'm using quite firm pressure to try and lift that image off the carrier sheet onto the masking. Okay, so my press is supposed to be at 140 degrees and I'm supposed to press this for 15 seconds. So I have it here on the masking sheet. It was a little bit difficult to um, transfer. Yeah, that's something to bear in mind. Right, so I'm going to be pressing my design on this uh, tote bag. So that Duraflex printable vinyl is for dark uh, garments or items. So that is why I am putting it on this gray, um, gray tote bag. They also have the uh, Duraflex light, which is for white um, items. So I'm just gonna pre-press this just to get all the wrinkles out and I'm also going to go ahead and put a center uh, line in so I know where the middle of my bag is so I'm just pressing that for about three seconds okay And this Duraflex uh, printable vinyl can be uh, used with cotton or polyester. I'm also going to have a video coming out where I use a product similar to Caesar Easy Subly, so uh, tune in for that very soon. I have now got my middle line so I know the center of my bag. And I think I'm going to have it about roughly about there. I could just to get a center line for this one just do that and do that at the bottom so I get a kind of rough estimation of where the middle is so I am liking that seconds and I'm putting a Teflon sheet uh, just to protect it and let's press for 15 seconds um, oh, that bit doesn't want to stick 
stay down. Maybe I overdid it with the heat because it's melting ever so slightly. But the rest of it is coming off okay. I'm not sure if it's because I had it too hot or I left it on for too long. I'm not sure because my um, my heat press does fluctuate in temperature, so I believe that was you know to do with the to do with the um, heat press and not the actual product. But I'm just going to go over it again just for a few seconds. And then let's see how it goes. One, two, three. Okay. Right. Let's have a chat about this new product. Right, so as you can see, it came out really nice. Um, the colours are vibrant and it is very saturated. If I zoom in for you, you can see that the vinyl has taken the, uh, the texture of the fabric, which means it's actually adhered really well to the um, fabric here of this tote bag. It is meant to be uh, stretchy as well. You're supposed to be able to stretch it. And like I mentioned before, it is durable enough to be washed several times at 30 degrees. Um, this is a game changer. When I saw the Caesar Easy Color DTV, I really wanted it, but like I said earlier, it's really difficult to get your hands on it if you're in the UK. So this is the next best thing, or could be the best thing, as I haven't used the Caesar Easy Color DTV. So it does exactly the same thing as the Easy Color DTV. It is a printable vinyl. You just use your normal printer to print out your image and then uh, press it onto your um, fabric, your chosen apparel or, you know, item. So I am really happy about this. This is going to be for people who don't want to do sublimation or are looking into um, direct to film and find it really costly like myself it's not something i want to do right now so this is the next best thing it's available for dark clothes and uh light clothes as well so there's two sorts i'm going to link everything in the description below so if you have found this video useful or interesting please like and subscribe if you haven't yet done so and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload a new video. Feel free to interact with the comment sections by leaving any comments or any questions or if there's anything you'd like to know. And as always guys, don't have a good day, have an amazing day. See you soon.